So let us then hear the, the voices of the business community and what um, they have to say about the um, current business, business environment. environment. Yeah. July turned out to be quite a difficult month, both in terms of the epidemiological situation and the current political processes. Added to this is the fact that the Euro and the United States expressed concern over the approval of six candidates for the Supreme Court by the Parliament of Georgia on July 12, because this contradicts the Charles Michel Agreement reached on April 19 between the ruling and opposition parties. Clearly, similar political decisions and the tense situation in the country have a negative impact on the local business environment, hampering foreign investors from investing in this country. The nature of our economy is such that direct investment is our salvation. If there are no foreign direct investments, even in this case, a balance can be struck, but one dollar will cost 50 Georgian Lari and we will be completely empowered. Georgian Dream is again using EU assistance for political purposes, bribing people and exercising political corruption. That is why I prefer not to have such help either. The statement of high-ranking representatives to our country in any form, in a negative context, be it a warning, a concern, etc., will certainly affect the investors who want to enter our country. Investors will not come from the West, from Europe, not even from America, but from our neighborhood, where democratic values are not important. But the question is, where do we as a country want to go. I, as a business representative, very negatively assess the events that are happening to us because this is not the country, the society where we can succeed. Shortly after the events in Georgia, investors have already asked questions about what's happening in our country. Georgi Chugoshvili, the co-founder of Georgian startup Faber, is one of the entrepreneurs who has already received this question from an American investor. This is an angel investor who makes his own personal investments. The story also reached this person in a very short time, which gives me the suspicion that the current events in Georgia reached many people in a rather negative context. The consequences that this may have is the long run can have a very long-lasting impact on the image of our country. Investors want their money and investments to be in an environment where they can defend their positions, ensure justice. Meanwhile, the growing COVID statistics in the country and the low vacation rate of the population remain a challenge for the smooth operation of businesses. Business operators say a similar situation also hinders making healthy future predictions. During these couple of weeks, uh, we uh, have seen that the virus is spreading and the uh, most uh, uh, undesirable outcome here is that uh, we do not have any stable prognosis. There is uncertainty and this is also very damaging, uh, uh, which is coupled with the very slow dynamics of uh, vaccination. And this is, of course, uh, unacceptable for the businesses to operate in a more or less um, uh, uh, more or less uh, certain way. So if uh, we will have a cases of our employees, it means that we have to uh, stop our production. It means that delay of shipments it, uh, because delay of shipments as a local for local market and for the export. As you know, we are operating in more than thirty different countries and we have uh, up to 70 different partners in, the, in those countries and the level of the shipment means that uh, the, the dramatic losses of the sales. It's still unknown what the consequences of the epidemiological situation will be, although the gradual political instability is further complicating the situation. Businessmen are approaching the government to create conditions in the country that will allow Georgia to operate normally in a competitive environment in terms of investment. It is impossible to imagine the development and prosperity of the country's economy and business without fundamental values. Do not imagine that if we do not pay attention to this violence, the same thing will not happen 
to any of us tomorrow, of course, these affects the investment climate of the country. We will feel the effect in the coming months more clearly. Investments in the country have already declined. There are many reasons. It depends on the investments we will create in the country and how many people we employ. We should try not to aggravate the situation farther. All the situation which is in Georgia right now after the 5 uh, of July's event, uh, it has a huge impact on the whole society and the economy of Georgia. So we as a leader in uh, jewelry business in Georgia, of course, we uh, feel that and the impact is, uh, as to say, not so good. So uh, we uh, feel that the market and the crisis, the economic crisis, which is uh, uh, due to pandemic and other things uh, in Georgia, uh, we can feel it. And of course, the dynamic is not so good. One thing we can say for sure is that the current business environment is unpredictable for investors. Political tensions adding to the uncertainty that COVID-19 has already brought to the world and to Georgia as well.